I'm going to take this camera off and let you see up close what this looks like. I wish you could smell it. It is so good. Hey everyone, this is Martin and I am out here. It's about, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes before sunrise. And what I'm doing is trying to get the fire going out here this morning because we're going to need it for our breakfast today because it's going to be part of the cooking scheme and while I'm out here I heard some I heard something back in the woods over here maybe a hundred yards and I have honestly no idea what it was uh, maybe we'll hear it again while I'm getting this stuff ready out here so it is a brisk 55 degrees out here and um, which actually feels pretty good this is a good way to start the day. Okay, while well the fire is getting started, it's officially sunrise. And, uh, yeah, back over there is where I heard that noise. And uh, I haven't heard it since, so I have no idea. It was sort of a screech, but it wasn't like a bird, so I don't know. Maybe we'll hear it again. Well, our fire is struggling a little. So the reason we need a fire this morning is we are baking um, a recipe for breakfast this morning that is uh, that you'll find on Shelly's uh, Chicks in the Sticks channel. Uh, her friend Mo made a breakfast frittata that's got sausage, eggs, bacon, potatoes, cheese, did I say eggs, eggs I guess, peppers and onions, um, a little bit of peppered gravy mix. It sounds really good. Anyway, that's what we're going to be making. We're going to be doing part of it in the Dutch oven today. We're going to grill up the stuff over on the flat top, but uh, then it's all going to go into the Dutch oven. Hi, hey, everyone. <laughs> okay, so we got a new tool. We got us a tripod over the fire. That's going to be used with our Dutch oven this morning for breakfast. So hey everyone, this is Martin and we are getting ready to start our Sunday morning do-it-yourself outdoor kitchen. And um, we're, okay, so this meal that we're doing here today, just the name alone intimidates me. So I don't have any idea how this is gonna turn out. We're gonna use, we're gonna cook things up on the flat top here and then we're going to put them all in a Dutch oven along with some other ingredients. This is a breakfast frittata. We're just saying the name alone is intimidating to me. So we're going to get started with it. Um, I've got the recipe. Rather than try to recite it all, I'm going to put it down in the uh, description below here so you can see that if you want to try it. Um, it can be done in an oven inside your house as well, but that would defeat the purpose of doing an outdoor do-it-yourself kitchen. So anyway, we're going to start with uh, browning up some sausage and some bacon. See, it's starting in the right direction, isn't it? And we're only making half the recipe that um, is going to be down in the description. And uh, so, um, so what I put on here is not going to be exactly what's on the description. So we got sausage, we got bacon. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick and then I'll be right back up. Uh, I'm using this uh, fancy uh, Chop Wizard tool again. <clears throat> and we actually, my Dahlia Chop Wizard, we actually gave one of these away a few weeks ago uh, to someone that um, uh, we had people post in the comments that they wanted to be on the drawing for it. And we only had a few people on the drawing. And uh, so there was a pretty good chance you could have won it. Um, we're gonna we got another new one in a box in there we're gonna give away at some point not today but um, but this thing works good I'm gonna show you how we do it I've, I've sliced these potatoes up into probably three eighths inch chunks you just set them on there and that's how easy this works and if you look and see they're all diced up
And that's just how easy that is. Anyway, that's it. Vidalia Chop Wizard. We'll put a link in the description below if you want to get one for yourself and not wait, not wait around for a drawing from us. Get all this heated up and browned a little bit. So we are now about two months into our Sunday morning breakfast and people still keep enjoying it. Um, you'd think they'd probably like it better if they were actually here, but um, but they seem to enjoy it on the video. So we're gonna keep doing them. If, uh, if you've been enjoying these or any of the other, you know, we're taking uh, a piece of raw land. We've got 12 acres here. And we started with nothing but brush and rocks. And we've been building on it. We haven't got our kitchen inside finished yet. That's why we're cooking outside. But um, but it's been a, a really good experience. And if you're thinking about trying something like this, or even if you just kind of enjoy the thought of it and watching it, um, just subscribe to the channel. Uh, click the notification bell. So we put out usually about two to three videos a week. And, uh, and so the notification bell will um, help you get the video so that you know when they've been published. And we do a lot of videos besides the breakfast videos. And we've done everything from clearing brush to installing roads to doing foundations around for a cabin, pouring cement work. <clears throat> We've installed a septic system down here ourselves, uh, put in water lines, installed solar, um, a solar plant here so that most of our property is, is off grid. And all of those videos are there. I really wish you could smell this. This is like camp cooking to the extreme. I don't know where my coffee came from. It's in here. Okay. Well, I'd mentioned to you that uh, we had this given to us, and we're going to have to invite them down uh, to share breakfast with us sometime after cooking some breakfast because this is, I think, one of my favorite outdoor utensils. It's a uh, 36 inch, the brand name is Blackstone. It's got most of the surface coating on the steel kind of worn off. But, uh, and I'm gonna probably remove the rest of it at some point. May end up retiring my old Griswold skillets. I guess we can still bake cornbread in them. Oh, here's Shelly, by the way. Hi, everyone. I'm getting ready to cut the onions up. You know, when you see us together, you're gonna see that we wore the same shirts today. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like we're acting like tourists, but it wasn't planned. It just worked out that way. Uh, when the sausage and bacon get pretty close to being done, and the uh, potatoes get pretty close to being done, I'm going to throw these onions in there, and then um, we'll mix it all together. Why didn't we ever get one of these before? That's what I want to know. <laughs> we should have had them when our kids were little. Mm, no kids. We could really got the breakfast done quick. Working over here in the utility building, I can hear our solar inverter kicking on. So it's working. It's powering the, the cabin here with the sun. I just added a bunch of uh, cut up green onions to the potatoes. You know, I just about eat this just the way it is. Well, I technically, I don't know what a frittata is, but based on this, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, I am going to take this camera off and let you see up close what this looks like. I wish you could smell it. It is so good. Okay, so you saw the potatoes, sausage, onions, and uh, bacon. 
this is all the wet ingredients. There's um, six or seven eggs in there, I lost count. Uh, there's also a pepper gravy mix in there. Um, and you'll find the recipe in the description down below. Uh, there's also uh, some evaporated milk, some water, and a bunch of spices in there. So we're gonna mix all of this together and it's all gonna go in the Dutch oven. Okay, so I am getting ready to bring the Dutch oven over here and we're gonna load this thing up. so you can see it. All right, that's kind of what it's looking like. No, if you're watching this, this is what our version of your recipe is looking like. Now the lid of a Dutch oven is what makes a Dutch oven work the way it works because we'll be hanging it over the fire so it can heat from below. But we're also going to be putting coals up in here that lip helps hold them in and so it'll bake from the top down as well. Alright, so here we go. Now I may put a link for one of these things in the description as well if you think you want to try a tripod. So we're doing a cooking fire today, so we're using coals, so we don't have a big blazing fire. So what I need is a few coals to put on top of this. All right, now it's just a matter of waiting for it to get done. So there's a close up of what that looks like. And it's hot, I have no idea how hot it actually is, but uh, certainly hot enough to cook our eggs. So one thing that I've uh, come to realize is that we're gonna have to go look up that blacksmith and get him to make us a Dutch oven handle. the better okay uh, I think it still needs to be a little bit a little bit longer but it's getting there yeah done, I'd say we're done. looks good okay I'm gonna take this over to the table and we'll dish it up there Oh, it smells really, really, really good. There's our new cookware. It's pretty fluffy. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be or not. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, smells really good. I'm going to put mangoes with mine. Hey, hold on. I was going to hold this. Okay. Okay, here she is again. What are you doing to it this time? Putting mangoes with mine. But you're not putting it right on top of it, right? No, okay. it's like this side fruit. He doesn't want any, so. The side fruit. Yes. All right. Father, we thank you for this beautiful morning and the time that we could have to make this food and bless it to our bodies. And I pray bless our viewers and help them to have a wonderful day today. Let this nurse be provided to us. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of that on my
fluffy. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not. Hey, fluffy or not, it's working. He didn't put enough. I don't think he put as much gravy in as she had. Wow. Flavor is excellent. Mm. Mo, thank you very much. Thank excellent you, Mo. recipe. Mo is her nickname. But uh, Mo's Country Kitchen. You'll find her videos on Jicks in the Sticks in fact, on Shelly's you might, channel. You might want to put that on there. I'll put a link in the comments below. I got to tell you, with this recipe, I put Italian seasoning on the side and I had parsley. And I think he accidentally grabbed the Italian seasoning. So we got Italian seasoning on it. It tastes good. So we're getting ready to finish up breakfast this morning. And uh, thanks for joining us again. Yeah. If you've enjoyed the videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you can see more of them. So next week we'll be back here doing this again Sunday morning, bright and early. So here's to having an excellent adventure. And may the stopping never start. See you later, guys. Have a blessed day. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and a share, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. See you next time.